Good morning, I'm here in Kingston, Jamaica. Just finished breakfast. I don't know why I had breakfast. I'm meeting up with Mark Weens. It's probably not a wise idea to fill up before you do that, but I'm gonna link up with the whole team. We're gonna check out uh, some markets. I don't know exactly what we have planned, but it's definitely gonna be interesting. So I'm on my way to meet them at their Airbnb right now, and we're gonna have a blast today eating our way through the city, Kingston, Jamaica. We're at Jamaica Food Bus, oh, and he's on. ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> this is how we're rolling the whole day. Door yeah. Open. Matt, you got some big excitement planned for today? And we're going to roll to the market, see eat some fruit, fresh fruit, and some natural juices. Hopefully, we can catch a soup man or a porridge man <laughs> as well. Beauty. And just tour the market, Carnation Market, the biggest market in Kingston, one of the best and most classic markets mm -hmm. in Jamaica. So. Perfect. That's what we have going on, and then we just go and wing it. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever we see, we roll with the door open, jump out, and just eat some food everywhere. That'll anywhere. Work. <laughs> morning. Hey. You know, all of you are here. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good to see you, man. I'll hop in the back there. Hey, no, no, no. Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. So this is Chef Sweeney. <laughs> so cool to meet you. Big up, big up, big up. Yeah. What can you tell me about this market here? Bro, anything you need, man. It's all fresh, all local. Yeah. Biggest one in Jamaica? Yeah, hey, man. Biggest so far. Biggest so far. Biggest so far. But I mean, it's getting bigger, you know. Every day, everybody's going into planting, and you know, more people are coming in. And this is the place you're visiting, like, a few times a week for your. Restaurant? Three to four times. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Just Tell them what I want. Tell them what I want. Yeah, tell them what I want. Ah, many thanks, many thanks. <laughs> many respect. <laughs> yeah, tip boy, oh, thank you very much. Can I buy like the red, green, gold yeah. steering wheel? Yeah, red, green, and gold for us, the man. Yes, sir. Have the orange one. The green ones are picked early, and then they ripe and become orange or yellow or red. So it really depends. And then the purple one, now what you're trying to find is the, is the heat. That's, that's the deadliest That's one? the Grim Reaper, we call it, don't it? <laughs> that's what is definitely on the menu for today. Grim Reaper? Just one, but yes, it's on the menu. I'll be watching you guys. I did do these. Grim Reaper. Migrationology is the experts on that. It's awesome how easy it peels. Yeah, look at that. Peg it and just throw it in or just squeeze it. I, I usually peg it like that and eat stuff like almost like a tangerine. I'm obsessed with trying new fruits around the world. Like I'm happy to find this ugly fruit. She has nice ones too. Look at that. So fresh. It's pretty. It's quite pretty for an ugly fruit. <laughs> <laughs> nice on the inside, right? That's what counts. Fruits, you know, fruits are the most beautiful thing. Because look, I've just peeled it with my hands. Don't need anything. And now I'm going to share it with friends. Just with my, just with my hands. Look at that. So cool. Oh, thanks, man. You don't want to see my face if it's too sour. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, man. Oh my god. That's sour. <laughs> but it's so fresh. Dude. No, it's good. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> first, first reaction, Bumble Cloth. Second reaction, it's nice. <laughs> Those are better it's, after. It's yeah. tart, but wow. That'll wake you up. Not really how I remember it. I remember the drink. Oh, the I'm feeling it like a tangerine and eating it, but. Oh, okay. The aftertaste is good. It's aftertaste is sweet, yeah. Cilantro. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's like eating a lemon. Yeah. Mm. Not bad. Sourness that almost instantly makes your teeth hurt a little bit. That's so cool. Look how thick that is. Yeah. That is beef. 
Beef. Yeah. Okay. But it says latte. <laughs> nice latte. I love it. They're both good. They're both totally different. Mm. Oh, damn. So close yet so far. It's alright, I got lobster on my shorts from yesterday, it doesn't matter. It's got some collateral damage from the cart, but it's worth it. The soup is bomb. You got what you need? Yeah, so far. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Bob Chow, what else? Ginger broccoli. Yeah. I'm Day Girl. Affectionate, my right name is Norma Del Raymond. Affectionately called Day Girl. All right, and today we have in the pot. We have boiled crab. <laughs> and these are the land crabs, you say? Yeah. Um, pepper, scallion and thyme, salt. These are the pepper. A bit of scotch bonnet? Yes, I can, I can smell the scotch crab. bonnet right away. Yeah. And these are the scallion, these are the thyme. With skeleton. Nice. Having a taste. Oh. 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 Salty. A little bit spicy. A little bit. Mm. And crabby. crabby. In a good way. <laughs> it's hot, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easy. Okay. <laughs> Mm. You can definitely taste the pepper in that. I like that though. <laughs> Swimming in hot pepper. It's my first time seeing them in a pot. That little taste. I'm getting three of them. Three, four, a thousand. It's about ten dollars. So first up, the roast corn. Just straight off the charcoal. I'm a bit of a corn snob because I come from Canada and we have good corn, but mmm. Mmm. Like a nice chewy kind of corn. Mmm. Great. Very sweet. Oh! Explosion in the face. No. More the lens I don't want to hit. I'm getting too excited. You take off the legs first and then. Ah, whoa. You don't yam that part? <laughs> mm. Crab juice all over the camera. Mm. Wow. A lot of good spice on that. I'm making a mess on my face here, but that's okay. Oh man, that's good. Ah, just crunch it. <laughs> Special technique, Auntie. <laughs> right? You no, bite right. it, and you get all of the meat off. Okay. There's like a buzzing on my lips from the spice too. I can feel it just kind of surrounding that. I got it. 
crab. One more you want, and this, this is like heaven on earth for me. I mean, crab meat's my favorite meat. Uh, yes. Carnage mm. is my favorite starch. Coconuts is my favorite everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> combining everything. Okay. It's heaven I, at Hero Circle. I praise. Yeah, that's an awesome combination. Coconut is life. Um, you don't need butter with this combination. Coconut provides all the juicy richness you need. A perfect combination because starchy, juicy, crunchy coconut. Yeah. One of those beautifully simple combinations you find around the world that just sticks with you. That is awesome. So Mark's doing cow skin. I'm spectating. Do we want to go larger, larger, small here? I will. Can we get drink one also? A large. Yeah, let's get a large cup, please. I'm happy to have another. When you bite down it, you get like this little poof of like air that comes out. And Atadana Flatia, crazy. Good soon. What's up? Thanks, man. Mark, you just yes. ate a whole hot pepper. Yeah, man. Atadana Flatia, man. Nice to meet you. So yes, we, yes. You just ate a whole Scotch bonnet, impressing the locals. I feel fire coming out of my throat right now. And it feels awesome. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I'm definitely sweating. That'll make you. That will make you sweat. Yes. When you Joel, what do you have in your hand? This is one of the baby reapers. I'm trying it out. It's a reaper. Is that what it's called? The baby. They call it the Grim so Reaper, good. but this is a baby. Okay. So this is nothing for you. Baby reaper. No, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, that's Atta. Yeah, I got, ah. got purple in the market. Yeah, that's Atta. That's hey, cayenne that? pepper. Holy <laughs> yeah, crap. Cayenne pepper, that. Yeah. Feel okay? Right now? Yes. Wait a minute. This part of the world, you got to you got to go for the peppers because this is where the hot peppers come from. Like all the new strains, the Trinidad Scorpion, the Carolina Reaper, the the Jamaican Grim Reaper, I guess I guess is what the local name is. But so flavorful, man. And that's what like backs the flavor with all of these soups. Dude, amazing. Cow skin, chicken foot, mm. organs, soups. Mm. Steppas and spinners. Steppas and spinners. Come on, dude, that's, yeah, that's hot. Dude. Ooh. That is legit. Legit, that is legit. legit. Wow. This is one minute later, Joel. Tears of Tear, joy. Tears of joy. Tears of elation. Dude, Mark's was like double the size of the one I ate. It's, um, <laughs> it's like <laughs> transcendent. <laughs> yeah. It's transcendent. And it transports you to like a new, a new world. Your taste buds are just flying. So it looks like Mark just looked at this place called Ebo Spice Portal. Looks like there's a bunch of record shops around, some awesome street art, and yeah. We could zinc kind of shack look on the outside with big Lion of Judah flags waving you inside. It looks wicked. This one new and this one look nice. This one look like my type of spot. I tell food, the rasta flag of fly. Oh God, man, I'm excited yeah. for this one. And proper zinc on the proper side too. Not the only zinc that have a little garden right here. This is pumpkin growing. That is pepper right here. This is. This looks like a merengue tree that they have going on and some other stuff here like corn and everything going right here outside. It's bad. Proper slow farm right in the street. Really nice. Really heavy. Really healthy. I do like salt though. I love Itel, but I'd probably put salt all over it if I was at home. But that's just being honest but it's definitely, definitely good for you. Right. Joel, you're gonna be the test guinea pig. 
Hey man. So I tell. I tell bowl. Okay, so it's yam underneath. I was wondering what the. Something's keeping it extremely <laughs> warm, hey? It's like. Okay, the green plantain or green banana? Could be green banana, yeah. It's a heavy bowl. I mean, it feels like three pounds in my hand. Isn't it? It's like heavy. It's a lot, yeah. It's for real. Mm. That is comfort food right there. Wow. Special kind of yam here. Oh. Hold it, Matt. I'll get a shot of you. <laughs> How heavy does it feel to you? Yam yeah, man. <laughs> it's not a yam man. It's a yam man. How heavy do you think it is? I can't quite tell. Well heavy. I only buffo yeah. this one. It's a it's not a one fat. Jamaican Jamaican food boss. It's a couple fat. The whole world we are can't eat. The whole world we are can't eat. No. It is awesome. Yeah. Yeah man. They call it wild pine. Wild pine. Okay. But what could the do? <laughs> Man! <laughs> oh wow! No, this one I know. Maka, yeah. you know? Thank you. What you call it? Monkey apple. Is it monkey like apple? Yeah, you yeah. see it like that. Monkey apple, Ma. you call it? I call it Maka Plum. Very apple like. Did you have this yet? No. Oh, dude. Okay, he peeled it for us before. You gotta peel off the skin. Oh, okay. It's a bit easier with a knife. Like this. It's a really you have these in thing. Thailand too? No, my first time to ever see this thing. Okay. It's easier with the knife, yeah? <laughs> it's hard skin. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> it's amazing. Seeds included? Yes, eat at all of that. Okay. I did a terrible job at picking it for Want you. Want me to get it? <laughs> yeah, for you, man. Whoa. Mm. So it's sweet. Yeah. Like pineapple. Like like passion fruit almost. Totally, and it's got like the guava seed yeah. kind of texture. There's a little kick of spice at the end. Almost. Yeah. Do you feel that? It's interesting. And amazing. Huh. So we're doing a bit of a weird contrast here. Going from straight hardcore ITAL in Kingston. And now we're kind of in the suburbs. And everyone says KFC in Jamaica is the best in the world. It's kind of a known fact, and we're each gonna try one piece of chicken. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be in this video. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm filming right now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's only one piece each. It doesn't count if it's only one piece. No, it doesn't count. Just, it don't count. Yeah. We're, re hey, we're researching. Yeah, yeah. Researching, researching. Yeah. You know, we we need to experience. We need to see. We need to compare. We, yeah. It's something we have to do. This is, this is amazing. We're here not <laughs> buying the chicken for someone else. Is that Food Boss over there? Are you making Food Boss? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's not him. This is not on the tour. No. Don't skip on the gravy. <laughs> Keeping it healthy it inside KFC with your ugly fruit from this morning. This has to be documented, yeah. <laughs> I don't really eat KFC at home, so I don't know. Yeah. They have this? Yeah, it's easy. What do you, what do you okay. think? Then? <laughs> All right. Oh, I haven't opened one of these boxes in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to open it. There it is. It's a heavy piece of chicken. Oh, wow. Yeah. Solid. The juice is like rattling around in there. Mm, it's solid. It's very crunchy here. <laughs> Joel's going deep. I don't know what. It's just like a squirting with you, man. Anyway. Is that a biscuit? 
It's way better than I remember at home, but then again, I haven't eaten KFC at home in so long. I almost have to go home and do another video. Yeah, PFK. PFK in, in Quebec. Yeah. Boss. Did it. <laughs> Key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not too shabby. So I think this is our final stop. I think after KFC, some pan chicken. It's like jerk chicken, but it's done on a grill. Don't see the pimento, just in a nice drum, side of the road. We're in a neighborhood called Red Hills, uh, just on the outside, sort of edge of Kingston here. So, yeah, it looks, <laughs> looks great. If you want to carbo load with white bread, you can do that too. I, I don't eat much bread at home alone, but as far as Kingston street food, that is a move of genius. I love it. it up into bite-sized pieces. Um, and my favorite part is the foil flip. He puts the foil down on top, actually on top yeah, of the chicken and flips it over. Meat, just grab meat, dodge bones, yeah, that's it. <laughs> dodge bones. And you can even see like the scallions just built up in the crevices of the chicken. And you've got that mix of skin, you've got the sauce on both sides. Good enough bite? It's been a high. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, but Mark has room for more, and he's getting a chicken breast, so we just had the dark meat. How does he do that? It went down so fast though, Matt. It's so good. Finish your bread, you Sonny. Maybe just no bread. Yeah, Sorry, Mom. Bread, just a straight chicken like this, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Yes, please. Eat your bread, Mark. Low carving, low carving. <laughs> You're too late for that. <laughs> uh, do you know this? And then this one is just loaded with, again, the scallions, so it gives it that crunch. This might even be better than the thaya. Mm -hmm. It's juicy. It's juiciness in the meat. Yeah. Yeah, this is juicy. It's juicy. Mm. Rest, you found more room? Tell Ross Mocker I need a diet to take off the Humpty Dumpty belly when Mark gone. <laughs> Anytime, man. <laughs> you guys okay? <laughs> that I was... can't control my tongue right now. The saliva is just like flowing out of the out of my cheeks. <laughs> I missed the shop. You guys ate a whole a reaper. whole grim reaper, purple pepper. Now they have dragon chest. The fire <laughs> dragon <laughs> chest. Where is it on your body? <laughs> the dragon chest. That's, yeah, I can actually like feel like a ball of smoke right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's flames, dragon, the flamethrower. <laughs> I had such a good time today. It was amazing to explore Kingston with Mark and Joel and Jamaican food boss Matt. I got to try a bunch of different food I've never had before, explore parts of the city that I've never ventured to, and just an incredible day. So definitely check out Mark Ween's channel, also called Migrationology. He's putting up all of his Jamaica content so you can see nice long form videos of his adventures over in the Caribbean and Mark is definitely coming by the yard to see Ross Kitchen and hang out with Ross Damoko and myself and enjoy some nice Ital, Vital food as only Moko can do it. So definitely check back soon. Bless up, hope you enjoyed it. 
and please do subscribe and comment below.